Hi, it's Michelle from Honest and Truly, and I have to say, this year I have learned so much about the Chicago winter that I never really wanted to know. And a lot of it has to do with going to the gym and working out. Kind of an odd combination, right? I mean, it's winter, so yeah, you're not going to be running outside or anything like that. But I've learned an entirely different set of facts about things like which of my personal products is going to freeze first? Because I try to be prepared. I have my gym bag and it lives in my car with my spare set of travel shampoo and conditioner, my extra makeup, and everything else that I need. So all I need to do is grab a change of clothes and walk outside. Now, my shampoo is going to be the second thing that freezes. The only one that freezes before my shampoo is my conditioner, and it is a solid block of ice. So my solution is that I have to sit in the shower, open it up this way, stick my finger in, and try to scrape out enough ice that I then melt in my hand before I go ahead and add it to my hair. I will tell you that if I've been doing a lot of exercise and I'm really hot, it actually kind of feels a little bit nice to have something cool in my head, but it's a little ridiculous. My moisturizer, again, it's just solid ice, and you can see actually where I have had to go and try to dig it out a little bit. Having this melt on my face, that's definitely not a good solution either. But the one that is the most frustrating is my hair product. It comes in this little container. I push this white button. It opens up on the nozzle and product is supposed to come out. Well, yeah, good luck with that one. It doesn't come out. And because the hole is this big, I can't try to even scrape any out, which is why my hair looks like this today because no product, it's frozen solid because we're still winter in Chicago. The worst part though is my shoes. So not only do I get to the gym and put my feet in these shoes that are freezing cold, and I mean literally freezing cold, but I've actually cracked the plastic on the side of my shoe because it's so cold that the plastic froze. And then when I tried to bend it to put it on, it cracked. So, new solution, new resolution. When I go to the gym, I get all of my workout stuff into my bag. When I'm done with the gym, I go ahead, put it in the front seat of my car rather than the trunk of my car, and then I bring it inside. That way, it stays warm, it's still all packed, and I just have to grab it. The only exception to that is my towel. So of course, I want my towel to dry out, so my towel never lives in my bag to begin with. I always set it out on the seats or in the back of my car so it can dry out from day to day. But that's the one thing that when it is cold, it actually feels really good after I've been working out. So that's gonna stay in my car, even though it's still really cold outside. So what are some of the stupid things that you've learned this year about the weather in Chicago or wherever it is that you live? What thing have you had to adapt and change because it's been so cold and so snowy and just all around yuck? Leave me a comment below and then go ahead, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss anything else.